hello everyone welcome back again to another tutorial hope you are doing good so in this video we're going to be making a dress so this is for seven years old this is what we're going to be making today so let's get to it these are the items we need for this tutorial so i'll be using two different types of african prints so they are both one yard this is half meter and this is half meter and um, we'll be needing satin this is a black satin one and a half yards of satin we'll be using interfacing just a little from it i'll be needing nets the purpose of this net is to raise the dress a little bit up and we'll be needing lining about half yards of lining i will start by folding the fabric into two like i said earlier i'll be using two different types of african print i'll be mixing them up so this is the front one and this is the back one. They are both folded into two. So I'll fold them into two. I'm using the biggest part of the body. Of course, we all know it's a baby. There is no bust. So I'm using her waist measurement to cut out the fabric. So I'll place the measurement now. The full length of the dress is 28 inches. The upper part is 11 inches and the down part will be 17 inches. So this is 12 inches because of sewing allowance. This is the upper part. Instead of 11 inches, I'll be making it 12 inches because of sewing allowance. So this is the back side. The back side is one and a half inches bigger than the front one because of zipper allowance. So I folded both of them into two and I'll place the measurement. The shoulder measurement I'm working with is 10 inches. 10 divided by two is five inches. And I'll be adding half inch for sewing allowance. And I'll be taking two and a half inches for the wideness of the neck. So for the front depth, I will take two inches. And the back depth, I will take one inch. I'll make a curve here. I will come down half inch for shoulder slope. So right from this shoulder slope, right from here, I will take her armhole measurement. Her round armhole is 12 and a half inches, divided by two, it's six and a quarter. So I'll mark six inches and a quarter here. So this is now her chest line. Shoulder to waist is 11 inches. So I'll add half inch for sewing allowance on this side and half inch for sewing allowance on this side. That is 12 inches. Uh, on the chest line, I'll place the chest measurement. The chest measurement is 24 inches divided by four is six inches. I add one inch, one and a half inches sewing allowance. That is seven and a half inches. So her waist measurement is uh, 25 inches divided by 4 is 6 and a quarter. Mark 6 and a quarter here. Then I'll add 1 and a half inches for sewing allowance. I'm not adding that to it. 1 and a half for sewing allowance. So I'll connect the lines together. I'll go ahead and cut it out. This is the back neckline, this is the front neckline, and this is the back. I will split the back side into two because that is where I insert my slip. I will use this to cut out the lining. I will cut the lining the same way I cut out the fabric. So I will set this aside and cut out the damp part. From the picture I showed you guys earlier, the down part is a first step um, flared or circle. So I'll be using the African print to cut out the smallest part of the steps. For the four steps, I'll be cutting the longest part 17 inches. The second one will be 
14 inches i will just give 3 inches gap make a space of 3 inches in between the the steps after 17 inches i will cut out 14 inches then cut out 11 inches so i'll be cutting the smallest part about 6 inches then i'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance that is 7 inches i'll fold my fabric into two i'll fold it again it's folded into four now I'll divide the waist measurement by 6.28, which I have 3.9 inches. I add a zipper allowance to it. I'll round it to 4 inches. I'll measure the 4 inches round. So for the smallest um, step, I'm making it six inches instead of seven inches i'll mark my six inches round right from this four inches i marked out i'll mark it round connect the lines So for the rest part of the, the steps or the layers, I'll be using these to cut them out. The difference is that this, the rest will be longer than this one. I will still fold my fabric into two. I'll be using the satin fabric to cut out the remaining part of the steps. So I'll use this the satin fabric to cut out three layers. The Ankara fabric will be for just one layer, that's the smallest um, layer. I'll still fold the fabric into two, the same process. I use for the first one. I will lay this in case the, the satin fabric. Then from here, we extend it to the length I need. Then I will take it around and cut it out. I will use this to cut out all the four layers, the four steps. So I finished cutting out everything. So this is the longest layer. That's this one, and it's uh, 17 inches. The second one is 14 inches. The third one is 10 inches, while the last one, that is the smallest one, is the smallest one is 6 inches. So this is the smallest one, that is the African print. I use it to cut out the lining. I'm only adding lining to this small one. Then I cut out interfacing as well. I want it a little bit hard. I'm not adding lining to the rest. Then this is the upper part. I also cut out the lining, the same way I cut out the fabric. Then this one is the net. I'll be adding net to it. So I'll make the lining and the net equal. So I'll make the net and the lining 14 inches. And uh, the wideness of the net is, is 53 inches. I'm making it times two of her waist measurement. Because I'm going to gather it a little bit to push the other ones up. We've done with the cutting. What we're going to do next is to put the fabric together. So we start with the upper part. I'll set this one aside, start with the upper part. So I'll take the front one, come down by one inch here, by the armhole. I will come down one inch here, right from the shoulder here. And I will come to this side again. I'll make a yoke, just a small yoke here. So I'll go to this side and come down by three inches. I will connect this one inch to meet these three inches. Now cut it out. So I'm going to transfer this one to black fabric. I'm adding half inch to this side for sewing allowance. And I will add half inch here also for sewing allowance. So 
So I will take this one, open this wide. I will place it like so. This is the wrong side. So I will go ahead and pin them together right from here. Now take this one, take it to this side. So I will sew here by joining the black one to the fabric. After I've done that, I will take the front panel and the back panel. I will take the front and the back panel. I will pin them by the shoulder here because this is a, a sleeveless um, dress. I'm not going to be adding sleeve to it. So I'll pin the shoulders together. Make sure the right side are facing each other. So I'll do the same thing to the lining. Make sure you attach this yoke to the front panel before using it to cut out the lining. So I've cut out the front lining also. I will pin them together, pin this side and pin this side. I'll go ahead and sew the shoulders, the lining and the fabric together. So I finished sewing the shoulders together. I will open it up like so. Take the lining, lay it against each other. So I will lay the lining against the normal fabric. Make sure the neckline aligned together. I will sew the neckline. This is the, um, the back side. I will sew the back side here then come here so here the armhole and so this side so the side the armhole and this side i will sew everything together i will leave this place open because that is where i will turn my fabric from you make sure you notch the edges after sewing them round so i finish sewing it i will make a notch around the edges i will turn it right from here I'll bring this side up, sir. So I'll use a pressing iron to, to press it. So what I'm going to do next is to sew the both sides together. I will set this aside and they'll go to the damp part. So this is the smallest uh, layer for the damp part. Remember I cut out interfacing. So I turn the shiny side to the fabric and use the pressing iron to, to press it to the fabric. And this is the lining. So what I'm going to do is to lay this against this. I will sew the lining to the fabric. I will sew it around the edges here. Then I will turn it from this side. And the remaining parts of the layers that we cut them into two. Because that is where our zip will go through. So after splitting the circle into two, this is the first layer, that is the longest one. I will take the second one. I'm taking the third one. So I will join all of them together. So these are the three layers. 
So this is the, the smallest one. That is the one of a six inches. Remember I said I added interfacing to it. Then I turn it right from here. I will lay this. This will be at the top. So I'm joining all of them together, all the four layers together. So I finish joining them together. So for the net and the lining, I'll use a gather stitch to run it here. Use a gather stitch to stitch it here. After using a gather stitch, I will take one one of the thread and pull it. I will gather it to her waist measurement. So after gathering it, I will still join this one to the rest of the layers. I will add this one inside. Then stitch it here at the waistline here. Before we attach it to the upper part. Then I will also hem this place. I use an overlock machine to tidy up the edges. I will take half inch and they take half inch. And hem it around, hem the whole edges, all the layers. I finished joining them together, and I've also hemmed the edges. I will go ahead and attach the upper part to the down part. So I'll make sure this right side is facing the right side. So we sew this place and join them together. So we're almost done. I've uh, attached the upper part to the down part. So I will go ahead and the I'm attach the zip to the back side. So I'm going to be attaching this at the front one that I just added the design here. Now we attach it here, like one inch above the, the half length, above the waistline. And now we attach it here. I will attach the zip now to the back side. So I will sew this side, I will attach my zip to the remaining part, I will take one inch on this side and one inch on the other side and uh, attach my zip to it. Then we are done. So guys, this is the finished look of the, the dress. This is the back side and this is the front. The steps, the layers. This is the one I made yesterday for her sister. I wanted to use the same fabric for for her, but because the fabric wasn't enough, I decided to mix it up with this other fabric. I hope their mom will like it. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next one. Please subscribe to my channel. I love you. Bye.